Venusaur, the bumpy blue-green skinned Pokemon, is the ultimate evolution of Bulbasaur, the cute canter starter. Venusaur, unlike Bulbasaur and even Ivysaur, is a monster and a force to be reckoned with on the Pokemon battlefield. This cute little monster is also the game mascot for Pokemon Green as well as Leaf Green. With the correct amount of training and moveset, a Venusaur may be the perfect defensive cornerstone for any Pokemon squad. Have you ever wondered where the term Venusaur originated? What was its design inspiration? Well, hop on, because in this vide, we're about to introduce you some random yet interesting facts about Venusaur. Number 10. Its catch rate is similar to most legendary Pokemon. Even though you'll never discover a Venusaur in the wild, it has an extremely low catch rate of 11.9%. Compared to that, a majority of legendary Pokemon have catch rates ranging from 1 to 15%. This means that if you ever come across a wild Venusaur, you're going to need a lot of Pokeballs to get your hands on this one. Number 9. A fully grown Venusaur is bigger than an average human. A Venusaur can reach a height of 6 foot 7 inches when they are fully grown, which is 10 inches more than an average male height. Amazing, right? Wait, there's more. A Mega Venusaur is 7 feet 10 inches tall. Number 8. There are good chances it's a male. Venusaur eggs only have a 12.5% chance of being born female, even though 87.5% of birth opportunities are female. But that doesn't mean female Venusaurs don't exist. They do. In fact, you will easily spot them because they have a seed in the center of the flower located on their back. Number 7. Venusaur gets its power from its flower. Did you know the flower on Venusaur's back captures the sun's rays? The sun is then absorbed and converted into energy. This explains why wild Venusaurs are constantly moving. They need to absorb as much sunshine as possible. Also, if a Venusaur's flower gets ample sunlight, it takes on vibrant colors. Number 6. This flower has unique properties. Speaking of the flower, a Venusaur's flower smell attracts other Pokémon. It is also believed that its aroma may relax both people and Pokémon, or that it uses its flower to collect nutrition and power from the sun's rays. Number 5. Prepare to experience blast of power in Venusaur's evolution. When a Venusaur turns into its mega form, the flower on its back becomes larger, and two smaller pink flowers, one on its forehead and one on its back, blossom. The flower's legs and back become stronger because of its weight to support it. Furthermore, when a Mega Venusaur turns into a Gigantamax Venusaur, it grows even bigger. Its flower blooms to the point of covering its entire body. These flowers feature a higher bud as well as incredibly thick and springy petals which eventually protect it and repel attacks. The dense vines of the Gigantamax Venusaur are powerful enough to bring down a 10-story skyscraper. The flower is capable of dispensing pollen like a volcanic explosion. Weird, but cool! Number 4. Pokémon from the Bulbasaur family were inspired by frogs. Have you ever wondered that Venusaur and other Pokémon from the Bulbasaur family look like frogs? Well, according to Ken Sugimori, the artist who draws these Pokémon, Bulbasaur's evolutionary line was inspired by frogs. When asked why he chose frogs, he explained, Having little animals as pets, such as lizards, frogs, little baby turtles, gives the game a more realistic feel and makes it simpler to get into. I noticed that if the first companion Pokémon is a tough-looking individual, it could be difficult to form an emotional bond. Number 3. Ken Sugimori had mixed feelings about Venusaur Ken Sugimori, the creator of Venusaur and several other Pokémon, surely likes all the Pokémon he has created. Venusaur, however, is his least favorite Pokémon to draw since its design is complicated and difficult to capture on paper. That doesn't mean he doesn't like Venusaur, though. Number 2. None of the NPCs own Venusaur in the original games. Did you know players can't register Venusaur in their Pokedex without trading if they chose Charmander as their starter Pokémon in the games? Why? Because your opponent will choose Squirtle if you choose Charmander, and no other NPCs in the game have Venusaur. Number 1. Venusaur was created first in the evolutionary line. Venusaur was created before either of its pre-evolutions took place. Bulbasaur was created by Atsuko Nishida, a designer who used Ken Sugimori's design for Venusaur. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one!